my name is Seti and welcome back to another Tips and Tricks with Apps Events and Acer. In today's video, we're going to dive into our Gmail and as you might have read in our previous blog post, there are labels and filters available to you in Gmail. So let's dive into it. Now, here in my Gmail, the first thing you're going to do is have a look at the left hand side. Now you will see there's a number of labels there. Now when I scroll down, you have two options. You could either manage your labels or you can create a new label. Now this is the easiest way to get to your labels. However, I'm going to show you a different way, which is also going to allow you to set up filters. Now, in order to do that, what you're going to do is you're going to navigate to the top right corner and that's where you will find a cogwheel. Now, this cogwheel will allow you to go into your settings and that's where you will find even more options. Now, once in your settings, the second tab is where you can adjust and change labels. So let's do that first. Once you've clicked on labels, what you can do now is you can create a new label. Now, what are labels? Well, I often get the question, are there folders in Gmail? No, the equivalent are labels. Now labels are little pieces of information added onto an email. Now you can also color code these. That means it can be very visual and it allows you to quickly highlight different emails or find emails in the future. Now this is going to help you achieve that inbox zero that we all crave and want. Now once you're in labels, there's a number of system labels and categories and these are already set by Google. Now when you scroll all the way down, that's where you can create a new label. So let's go ahead and click on that right now. And now you can give your label a name. So as we're doing this together, go ahead and name this label Apps Events. And what we're going to do is we're going to label all of the apps events emails because I hope you are signed up for our newsletter and these will automatically get tagged so go ahead and title this apps events now we're not going to nest this underneath any other labels but if you choose to you can do this in the future so you could have labels within apps events one is tips and tricks another is YouTube updates and another is newsletters but for this tutorial we're going to keep it to a top level label now once you've titled your label click on create and you will now see that apps events is part of your list you will also see this label in the left hand side and this is where you can change the color or what it looks like so let's go ahead and do that right now let's click click on that label. And once you've found the label, click on the three dots that appear next to the label. This is going to allow you to choose a label color. Now at Apps Events, we love all bright colors. So go ahead and choose a color you like. Now in order for you to attach a label to an email, you're going to first have to select the email. So let's go ahead and select the previous newsletter. And now at the top, we're going to simply add that label. All very easy and very straightforward. Now it makes it very visual. You can immediately see all the newsletters that have previously been sent to you, but it would be so much easier if we could automate this. So we're going to dive back into our settings and this time we're going to select the tab where it says filters and blocked addresses. So go ahead and click on that. And once you're in here, you can set up a new filter, which is exactly what we're going to do right now. Now filters can be set up to filter individual email addresses, groups of email addresses. You can look for certain words, attachments, or even different file sizes. Now what we are going to do is we are going to look for the words newsletter and apps events. So we're going to look for these words. And then what we're going to do is we're automatically going to attach a label to this. So under includes the words you're going to type newsletter and apps events, and then we're going to click on create. This filter is a search. Now this search will run on every single email that enters your inbox. And whenever it matches the exact instructions that you've given in this first window, it is going to do the actions that you're going to define in the second window. So let's now search for apply the label. And this is where we're going to select our new label. Now, once you've done this, there is an extra tick box that you can tick. And this tick box is going to allow you to go back into your inbox and run this filter against all previously received emails. This is great when you're just only setting up filters right now and you'd still like to attach labels to your previously received emails. And that's all there is to using labels and filters to automatically apply a label to your emails. I hope you found this helpful and if you did, dive into the comment section below and let us know how are you using labels? Are you going to use labels? Or do you miss the folder structure from other email clients? Now on a Chromebook, this works like a charm and it will help you to achieve that inbox zero that we all want. I hope you found this helpful. And if you did, don't forget to subscribe, like it and share it out to the world. I thank you for watching. This was another Tips and Tricks with Apps Events and Acer.